stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Mr. Hoffman, faculty, parents, and students, welcome to the National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony at Hilton Head Prep. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who successfully completed their candidacy. The criteria for NJHS are the following. Middle school students who have been on the honor roll have completed several hours of community service, write, write an essay about the importance of being a National Junior Honor Society member, and have been approved by the faculty. Those students are being inducted as new members of our NJHS chapter. It is my pleasure to introduce our current members of the National Junior Honor Society who will induct our candidates. Annabella Platt, Tripp Hedden, Elise Sullivan, Addison Lakasevic, John Platt, Olivia Denny. We will begin our ceremony with Annabella Platt. Our school is proud to be inducting this group of middle school students into the National Junior Honor Society today. This ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent in our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as excellent role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records we, we, which established our eligibility for membership, our members are leaders in many student organizations and serve our school and community through many activities. We are proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continuing work as NJHS members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Hilton Head Preparatory School Chapter of the National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through their effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of this chapter will now review these qualities for the candidates. We begin with scholarship. Trip. Scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when ed formal education has ended. For human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Quote by Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world.
Service is established in the routine of the day's work, where many opportunities arise to help others, both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need, without money, compensation, or public recognition. In the quality we seek in our membership and promote in the entire student body, we are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. The best way to find yourself is lose yourself in serving others. Gandhi. Now, character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without, without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life, and, once developed, grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. As J.C. Watts said, character is doing the right thing when nobody is looking. Please rise, raise your right hand, and repeat the pledge. Please join me in reciting the pledge. I pledge to uphold, I I pledge to uphold, uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society. The high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society. To which I have been selected. To which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. And will always maintain and encourage. And will always maintain and encourage the high standards. The high standards, standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Thank you. You may be seated. And now, as your name is called, please step forward to receive your certificate and sign the official chapter register. For sixth grade, Harper Head.
Stella Farmer. Katie Gutierrez. Cole Mustard. Merit Rusher. Holly Smith. Wynn Bennett. Jamie Hanley. Lexi Klein. Maya Shimano. And now, please welcome our headmaster, Mr. Hoffman, who will offer congratulatory remarks to the new members. Well, good morning, everyone, and Congratulations on behalf of Hilton Head Prep, our faculty and staff. I just want to say a great big congratulations for your accomplishments. To be recognized here today is an honor. You should be proud of yourselves. Uh, I know your, your families are proud of you as well. It has not been an easy year. We've, we've had our challenges and you guys have learned how to persevere through that. Uh, and again, you should be very proud of your academic accomplishments and your service and your personal uh, accomplishments throughout the year as well. Well-rounded students are what we all strive to be and I am proud of you for doing everything that you can do to be in the position that you are today. So congratulations. I hope you uh, are proud of, of those accomplishments. I hope you continue to work hard and remain on the National Honor Society as you go on through high school as well. So. Congratulations, and uh, give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you, everyone. Good job. Thank you all for attending our NJHS induction ceremony. And now, will everyone please stand and congratulate our newest members of the National Junior Honor Society recess.